So let, let's talk about the truth, shall we? Because I feel that I've allowed my emotions to get the best of me and we're, we are moving off the point a little bit. What I wanted to do was come and discredit the, the lies and the contradictions that have been in the newspapers and on mm. the TV interview that he mm. did, mm. OK? He said that he gave us a flat, he's done that, he put a roof over our head. We spent the last year and a half fighting him for that flat, mm. OK? We spent £77,000 on lawyers' fees to fight him for that flat, OK? Mm. Before we even... He said he's been dragged into this, that, that he's had to defend himself. We waited a year, we watched the newspaper articles, we watched all the ridiculous things he was saying, we watched the money and being spent and the money being made off the back of our mother, mm. OK? And we decided that this guy was not, did not have our best interests at heart, that actually he wasn't thinking about us at all, he didn't care about us, all he cared about was money and fame. OK? And living off the back of our mother's career and her death. Just hearing all this, Michael, I can't help but think, what do you think Linda would make of all of this? She'd be, she'd be, she'd be disgusted. Why am I sat here with you guys? Yeah. If, it was, if it was just about the money, then why would my brother and I sit back and wait for the million quid when he but dies? But what would you say to her if she was here now? And how will you take this forward? Because it seems to me you've stated your position. You seem, as Nadia has, uh, has hinted at, almost a so angry, you've got to grieve. Surely you would honour your mother's memory best by just well, moving away, yeah, I'm, moving I'm, I'm on. I'm honouring her memory by standing up for her because she's not here to have a voice and, and mm. she's not here to stand up for us, mm. OK? We have to do this because, actually, we've been dragged into this by his behaviour. Mm. Now, he, he, we fought him for that flat. He gave us a flat that was worth seven hundred and fifty to eight hundred thousand pounds, mm -hmm. okay, and told everyone on television that we want to sell it and that we could, you know, he's put a roof over head. No, he hasn't. The flat has five hundred and seventy-six thousand pounds of mortgage left to pay. Not only that, we have to pay seventy-seven thousand pounds of lawyers' fees. Mm -hmm. We have to pay his capital gains tax, okay. Mm -hmm. Once we sell the property, we'll end up with, if we're lucky, a hundred grand. That's not putting a roof over our head. And the reason why we have to sell it is because if we don't sell it in the next two years, he then takes control of who he sells it to. Mm. If it's vacant for more than three months, he takes control of who we sell it to. Mm. OK, let's get it right. And we're not allowed to live in it. OK. I'm just trying to discredit the fact that this guy is saying all these all things right. about but me and my family. Yeah. And they're I lies, believe, guys. Uh, all right. They're lies. Yeah. Uh, I can see how frustrated and angry you are, but at the end of the day, you are where you are. And if I believe in the afterlife, and I imagine that Linda is looking down on this now, mm -hmm. what would you say okay. to well, Linda? And he believed what would your the, message well, and be? And he believed in the afterlife, OK, mm -hmm. so he claims, but yet he thinks it's OK to come out and say that her death. Yeah, but what would you say there. to Linda? I would, right, so what I would say to my mum is, I love you, I miss you every day. I'm really sorry... I'm really sorry that we've had to come out and speak publicly because I know that she wouldn't want us to have to do this, OK? Mm -hmm. But we had to defend you. We know this isn't what you wanted. And actually, I'm just really, really sorry that I, me and my brother didn't try harder or didn't tell you enough that we loved you for you to feel secure enough to do what needed to be done while you were here. And all her friends as well. We all feel extremely... We all feel like we let her down. We all feel like we let ourselves down. All her friends and family feel they let us down because we know what she wanted for us. Do you She's feel, not what she do wanted. Do you feel, and I think this does often happen when somebody loses somebody, do you feel angry with your mum? Do you feel angry about her choice through, of Michael? Of course I went through anger. Yeah, of course I yeah. went through anger. Anger, frustration, um, guilt, you know, because I feel like I should have tried harder to make her understand why, why, where we were coming from. Um, but I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Michael, how old are you now? 34. You've got the rest of your life ahead. Absolutely. Can't you look forward, not back? We are, Janet, and I'm here and we're going to talk again after this, but, Janet, it's not just about the money, it's the principle, mm. it's about self-respect, it's about dignity and it's about morals. And I'm here and I'm fighting for those because my mother gave me those, that, those morals, my mum gave me those values. Dignity and moral and values and self-respect this man doesn't have. Okay, he has no shame. 